Rob, what is our first main topic today? Well, John, the first topic comes from Anonymous. <laughs> hey, John and crew, I work at a movie theater chain in the American Midwest, Marcus Theaters. And they just sent me an email along with my upcoming work schedule saying that we are going back to full 100% capacity on June 18th, including the option to wear a mask. Do you guys think that we as a community are ready for this kind of move? Thanks. Well, you know, John, uh, you and I have both gone back to movie theaters. Um, Many and times. when we saw Fast Night, yeah, and I, I did wear a mask. And I think that there are going to be people, and we're both vaccinated. And I, I think that, you know, the New York Yankees prove that you can still contract COVID if you're vaccinated and be asymptomatic. I think for me personally, I'm going to be wearing a mask out in public. I mean, I don't have a problem now sitting in movie theaters uh, with full capacity people, but I'm going to wear a mask. And I think it's both for my protection and theirs because... You can still become a carrier of COVID, but uh, that's just for me. Now, the rap says, we got this from the rap, consistent with the latest CDC guidelines and following consultation with public health experts, AMC theater guests who are fully vaccinated are no longer required to wear face mask coverings at AMC locations unless it's mandated by state or local ordinances. AMC said in a statement to the rap, Guests who are not fully vaccinated are asked to continue wearing masks. All other aspects of the AMC safe and clean policies and procedures, including seat blocking, remain in place at this time. So AMC is not going to go full capacity yet. But I just think for me, John, I've been wearing masks for 16 months. And I don't have a problem wearing masks for a couple hours when I see movies for the foreseeable future. I mean, I don't. I don't have a problem with that. I've never seen it as a personal liberty issue. I have a choice now whether I want to do this. I choose to do it uh, for, as I said, for my own safety and other people's. I don't have a problem at all with that. I just like the fact that theaters are going to be opening up. Uh, more people are going to be able to see movies. But for me, that's kind of where I'm coming from because, look, we've still, this pandemic is by no means stopped. It's still ongoing. Things can still happen. I'm glad that I'm vaccinated but like everyone has pointed out not everyone else is so why not err on the side of cautions no skin off my nose unless my mask gets a little chafy <laughs> i uh, here's the thing hearing from from mark that marcus theaters now is planning on going on lifting all restrictions lifting all restrictions that means they're going to go full theater they're going to go full blown uh and one must assume that if Marcus Theaters is doing that, that other chains are going to start to do that, like AMC, like Regal, like Cinemark, like on and on and on. And the question, and now obviously they will only be able to go full restriction free in areas and states and counties that allow that, but that that is starting to open up and that's becoming a thing. Mm. How do I feel about the lifting of restrictions of limited theater capacity, the lifting of restrictions of mask wearing, the lifting of restrictions of seat blocking and things like that. I, I, I'm a little bit torn on it, Rob, because on one hand, I feel like, man, I, I feel like now that we've got the pandemic on the run. Now that we're getting more and more people vaccinated, now that we're seeing new numbers dropping almost daily, I almost there's a part of me that feels like now is the time to really put the foot to the floor and really just eradicate this thing. You know, when you get your opponent against the ropes, that's not the time to ease up. That's the time to up the attack. And I, I there's a part of me that feels like that. On the other hand, um. I got to say, as somebody who has been vaccinated and Rob, you know, we just had a housewarming party here where we had like 30 plus people over who were all vaccinated and we could all be around in California. Nearly 50 percent of the population is fully vaccinated now. It's getting close to that yeah. number. Um, I, do I feel opposed to the idea of maybe in some areas where the numbers have dropped enough? That it's gotten to the point that officials are saying we feel it's okay that these places can open up again. 
a part of me also thinks, well, then maybe it is okay to open it back up again and, you know, keep a close eye on it. And if things do seem to start to get worse, okay, then then implement the lockdown again, implement the protections again. But I, I got to say, while I myself, Rob, if I was in charge of one of these theater chains, I would probably keep the restrictions in place for a little bit longer, but I'm not opposed to them lifting it right now. Uh, I mean, I just feel pretty good and maybe I'm being naive, but I feel pretty optimistic and pretty good about where things are right now, at least in terms of where we live in the United States. There are certain places in the world like our brothers and sisters over in India who are having a really, really rough time. So notwithstanding that, right here, things seem to be pretty good. They seem to be heading in the right direction. So I'm okay with it for now. It's going to be interesting to see how that kind of unfolds. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? That it looks like some of these theaters are getting ready in just a couple of weeks to completely lift all restrictions in the areas that they're allowed to do that. Is it time to do that? Is it a little premature? How do you guys feel about it? Jump into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.